Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're gonna to be doing a video about AMC. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys, let's go on our investor journey together. So today we're gonna to be talking about AMC up 21.59% today and a lot of people are kind of wondering why. Well, you know, it kind of seems that every single time GameStop has a rally, AMC and cost both follow suit. So really diving in about the one week chart, still down 22% of its value. So AMC has not really been doing that well, but making a beautiful recovery today at 21.49%. I want people to understand, you know, right now, AMC Entertainment currently sitting at $10.94. Is it a good buy? Should you invest in the stock? What kind of started off as a Reddit meme stock for what at least the media or Wall Street calls it? You know, people have definitely started to see the value behind AMC Entertainment. And it's actually not, like I said, it's not a bad investment. It's not a bad company at all. You know, overall, I think their business fundamentals are pretty good. People will judge AMC falling based on overall market condition, but not really have anything to do with the overall stock itself. If anything, AMC has had nothing but good news for the stock in itself. And the stock has performed pretty well. Looking at the one-year chart up 178% of its value. So the stock is doing relatively good, you know? I mean, obviously, everything I say in my video is not financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. But if you took the opportunity and bought the dip, then you now have 20% more on your overall investment, which is a pretty good return. That's basically what some people only make in a couple of years. You know, def definitely if you play like kind of index funds and bonds and stuff like that. So people who took the risk, bought the dip yesterday, definitely did pretty well today. Like I said, up 21.56% of its value. But I know that AMC stock definitely has a lot more to run. Like I said, you know, it's been nothing but good news for this company. People cannot blame blame AMC falling on overall mar market condition. S&P 500 basically fell three days in a row. The EV market is absolutely just tanking. You know, China tensions are rising. So those stocks and ETFs have not been doing well either. NASDAQ is falling. So everything was falling. Everything, all the stocks were not doing well at all. But like I said today, you know, the, the market made a little bit of a recovery, which is very, very good. It's something that a lot of people were kind of waiting for, especially with all the blood we had been seeing. You know, a lot of the markets have been under a lot of market pressure. Every time Jay Powell happens to come up to the microphone, the markets are super sensitive. And it goes to show, you know, that yes, you know, it's okay if the markets tank, you know, you just have to be along for the roller coaster. There's going to be ups and downs in the stock market. But if you've done your due diligence and you've done your overall analysis on the stock, then the ups and downs do not matter because your analysis should prove that your stock is a winner. And then so back to AMC, you know, if you bought the dip, you know, it's a very good opportunity. There's still a lot of people holding the stock. You know, the stock is reacting very well today. Like I said, up 21.29%. Like I said, the stock has had nothing but good news. You know, movies, theaters are not open back up in California, New York. Vaccines are getting rolled out as fast as possible. So, you know, we're making a very good recovery. States are reopening. People are getting very pent up. There's a lot of pent up demand when it comes to the movie theaters. AMC had decent earnings. Yes, they did lose $4.59 billion in the year of 2020, but 2021 is definitely going to be a lot better of a year for AMC. The only kind of argument that AMC has, which is kind of a bearish view, is the fact that, the, you know, the company has taken on a lot of debt overall. And I can understand why that can be concerning to some people, but with a lot of good box office releases coming out, you know, they have a lot of movies that are set to come out this year that are really good ones that are definitely going to drive a lot of traffic. I'll, I'll, like I said, also followed up with pent up demand that people have not been able to go to the movie theaters for such a long time. It's definitely going to help boost its overall outlook. So I still think that AMC is going to hit $20, $25 by summertime. And I still do think that AMC is going to hit 20 or excuse me, $30 by the end of the year. Yes, the stock still does have the potential chance to squeeze. People can say what they want overall about AMC stock that it's done or whatever stock like that. But I want people to understand that, yes, you know, the overall stock in itself does have its ups and downs, but now the fact that AMC has a lot more media attention, you know, the fact that stocks that were neglected like AMC, Dave & Buster, all these stocks that were shorted, you know, they're now going to see a pretty good recovery. It just takes time. Like I said, there was a little bit of a pullback on these overall stocks. It had nothing to do with AMC as a company in itself. And people who tell you otherwise obviously don't know what they're talking about. You know what I mean? If you have all the indexes falling, whether it's cruises, EV, tech, all the stocks are sinking and AMC happens to fall with it. It has nothing to do with the overall stock. Good news for AMC. Like I said, it's been it's been going up. You know, like like I said, there's a lot of optimism in the economy that we're making a smooth recovery. Yes, it's going to take time for stocks like this to actually hit their full maximum potential. That's just how it goes down. That's every stock right now. No stock is even close to trading to, towards their 52 week high that we saw in 2020 or even at the beginning of this year, a lot of those gains were erased. So it's not like it's just AMC in specific. 
If you're bullish on the overall position and you truly believe in the company, that's what should be the best motivation for your overall investment. For me personally, I think AMC is a very great buy at $10.96, despite what analysts may say, despite what people may say overall. You know, I've looked at the company fundamentals. The company has been profitable for a very long time. People think this notion that movie theaters are going to go out of business, and who knows, maybe eventually they will, but I don't see that coming here in the next 10 to 15 or maybe even 20 years. Yes, streaming services are getting more popular, but... I know that AMC is going to take a more innovative strategy to kind of counteract the popularity of streaming services. Even though streaming services have gotten more popular, which I can agree, I can attest to that, yes, streaming services maybe have hurt AMC's business model a little bit because, like I said, you know you can stream the movies from home, but... Like I said, streaming movies at home is never going to be able to take away the classical experience you definitely get when you are able to go to the movie theater. Like I said, it's an experience. You go with your friend, significant other, you have like really cool movie, movies like Marvel and all those. Like when I watch Marvel movies, like I do not want to watch them at home. I want to watch them in the movie theater because they're just, it's better. It's just, you have the huge HD speakers, the big screen, soda, popcorn, and you're with your friends, your family, your significant other. It's just an overall built experience, an experience that streaming services cannot provide for you. Yes, there may be a little bit cheaper, but I think AMC is definitely doing a very good job of really keeping up with the demand and supply. And people do like to compare, you know, AMC to Blockbuster. I don't even think it's overall really correlated because Netflix basically did what Blockbuster did, but just better. Streaming services do not do that. You know what I'm saying? Streaming services do not really give you the classical experience you get from going to the movie theaters. It's like saying you want to go out for a drink. You know, everyone knows when you go out to drink some liquor, it's funner to drink out with your friends at a bar or at a restaurant than it is to drink at home. That's common classical fact. It never takes away from the overall experience. AMC is in this exact same scenario, which actually does make me super, super bullish on the overall stock. It has nothing to do with short positions. Yes, the stock may go through a squeeze. That's cool. That's great. But that's not the reason why I'm personally invested in the stock overall. I do see a lot of upside potential for stocks like AMC. I do see that this stock does have a lot of potential to grow over the next couple of years. And now that it does have the media attention, now that we have been making a beautiful recovery, you know, California and New York, they both opened their movie theaters back up, which are two of the biggest box offices in the world. And AMC is still the biggest movie theater provider all across the United States and across the world as well, with more than 11,000 movie theaters, backed by a few analyst upgrades as well. And the recent growth we've definitely seen from the overall stock. It just goes to show that pointing in all directions that AMC right now is a very good buy. Like I said, I, I think my overall analysis of AMC proves to show that, you know, that yes, you know, it started off as a meme stock. I understand, but I've been holding AMC for a very long time, even before it got popular because I've always been bullish on airlines, cruises, and entertainment stocks. I know that they were neglected, so I bought all of them at their 52-week lows, and I just kind of rode the wave because I know that these stocks were going to make some sort of a recovery. With that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what you think of AMC stock. Do you guys think AMC stock will hit $25 by summertime? Do you guys think AMC, AMC stock is still going to go through a short squeeze? If you guys own AMC stock, how many shares do you guys own? What's your average? I'm always very curious to know. With that being said, guys, thank you. Have a great day.